everybody, this is Nolan here, and welcome to another episode of Dank and Rompum. Welcome aboard my ark. I'm here with my buddy Dylan, so say hello. Jahiro's dead. Oh, oh yeah, I, I didn't even... Shoot, I was just looking at the camera, and I looked down, and I'm like, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let's get right into this. Frick. I just real I just remembered. Anyway, uh, what? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... <laughs> wow! <laughs> a wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Ooh, deadly life, guys. It's official now. Mmm. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Nolan. <laughs> Ooh. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. Oh, wow. I It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Hmm, where... This seems like a moment of deja vu. Because he couldn't... Like, he could... He didn't even realize he was screaming when Sayaka died. Anyway, Byakua, on the other hand. Very strange. Most, Most unusual. unusual. Oh, sorry. Don't you think? Oh, my God, you jerk. He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Look! Oh, sorry, go ahead. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Once again. Bloodlust. Oh, it's. Bloodlust. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, I'm still screaming. Ah! <laughs> they killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Bizarre. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Hmm. It's almost as whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling too. I can uh, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something. Ah, Jiro! Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> oh, this is new. Oh, alright. Let's not skip it. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Yay! What the heck was that? What? Oh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovered announcement? Then Chihiro really is... Dead. Yes. Of course she is. Oh my god, look at her face though. She's. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up. He seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time uh, at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Jihiro's body. Damn. Oh, damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means that we are now in the same position once again. Frick, man. What the frick is this? What? You eat your dream! Eat your dream! It's just your dream! In fact, I haven't a big boy yet! I don't have any memory of ever being alive! I'm just a grown man, baby! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, you man, baby! Alright, so. Check the words on the. Oh, Alright. For now, pay attention to the wall, you dingus. Huh? What do you mean, dingus? I said it once already. There's a word written there. On the wall? What's a word? Okay, yeah. 
I'll do it first. And then I'll actually press tab. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. So... I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too... strange. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust on the blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? Yeah, like the last death, duh. Wait, what? A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. After, and at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly and slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murder fiend who gr uh, grisly attacked each were attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. I've heard about this guy, actually. I don't even know. It sounds familiar, but I don't think that's a real thing. I don't know. Genocide Jack. And this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's Copy, style? Copy Kuma? <laughs> but why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. What? The real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No, man. When I was sailing, I was on the Bermuda Triangle and I saw him out there. He was like a captain on a ship. I don't know. No Whatever. Way. There's no way! Well, you know, I was in the Bermuda Triangle. Like, alright, sorry. <laughs> but going so far as to write Bloodlust as a scene, I'm surprised at their stupidity. Well. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murder. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Toko! Hina was pointing toward the, uh, Heine, Heine was pointing toward the entrance to the girl's locker room. Heine? That's, what I'm, that's her nickname, is Heine. <laughs> Toko was the last to arrive and she was just standing there. <laughs> no! Why? 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 Wah, ha, e. <laughs> Why? Gadunk. <laughs> Garfunkel. All right, she fainted. That did not. Uh, that did not sound good. Toko. But I don't know the difference because I'm stone. I'm still stone, man. All right, he and her Heine rushed over and to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. I'm not putting a picture of a butt when I say that. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up, Heine. Oh, oh. oh that's right, I just remember what you said. And now she faints any time she sees blood. Oh. So she, so she is hem, hem, hem homophobic? <laughs> Sorry, and hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. I thought that... I I'm sorry, I kind of re read that on accident, or I said that on accident, I just... Um, this isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. N no, I think uh, it, it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like on purpose. Hmm. Ah, uh, so since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count, gotcha. Just a second! Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As she, as if she'd heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake. Wait, what? Wait a second. <laughs> As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying, so she was pretending. It's such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her uh, stance as she did, but she kept going straight up and hit the fan. Wait, the ceiling. Then she kept going up and up and up. Oh, shoot, I hit my mic. Alright, in no time, Flash is just standing up. Oh, ew, 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 Kermit the Frog with cross eyes. <laughs> Ignoring the physical- no, she looks like Sue from My Hero Academia. <laughs> Alright, ignoring the physical condition, uh, con contortions, she had to go through her emotions were totally ha haphazard. Huh? What? Sorry about that. I was so shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? To Toko, are, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> then stop looking like that. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> what the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> the world has back and front and back, and a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth, and a web of lies. Wow. This is quite concerning. I mean, she's not like completely different. No, no, everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? <laughs> 
I see. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Is he help? I do Um. Taka, could you help me? <laughs> what a jerk! A freaking tiny owie! Do you need your be? Yeah. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on dude's guard duty again? Uh, yeah, because they're dumb anyway. H hold on a second. Rushing into an investigation. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Nigga. Don't make me repeat There's myself. no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. Isn't that right, Madakuma? Oh my god. Of course! Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because that's how graduation works. Oh. Then it then it's happened again. Is that what you're saying? Another one of us? Another one of us killed? A fellow classmate? What, does that freak oh. you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? The ball is deep in the bush! Sorry. <laughs> is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Yeah. Actually, I don't have any either, sorry. Stop talking. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> I sure did jump. It's Allow me to Monokuma present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See so later. please, do your tippy best on this investigation. Okay. No <laughs> do we really gotta do another investigation? What does she mean by another- somebody just died. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Examining- oh. Examining the corpse of one of our friends? Yeah. Having to suspect all our other friends? Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, no. I hate it too. I I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey. Where do you Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. Th that's true, but to jump into into it so soon. What? What? Do you want to die? Such Fine then. Go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. Huh. You're a waste of space. Damn you. Um, a, a, a dead body is an object. Shihiro wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat some into you. Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya said. K Kyoko? Because... If we don't solve this mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. Alright, gang. Let we looks like we got another mystery on our hands. <laughs> and if Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Shihiro... That's right. Then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. I think that, um... I think that, uh... Oh my gosh. Shifumi should be Scooby. Forget more victims, you should make this your poor gang beat. Hold on, hold on! If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? Wait, I don't remember how you were your day. Actually... I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. So in that case, why do we not limit it to me? To one person, I mean. Hey, um... Well, with a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> no! Just one would totally murder that possibility. Punishment is Very well for now, for I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I can't say I understand this thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. <laughs> Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the frick up! So, um... Well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. Nice, I'm gonna get dropped off! There is 
nothing to be by Heine. <laughs> All right, we have no time but to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Toy, uh, tout, su tout sweet. If we do, if we do not solve this mystery of who killed Chihiro, okay? then we will kill. We will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else have to do it. I do have. I don't have any other choice. So if they don't do it in time, they just die. No. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. First, in a limited amount of time, the trial will start. But it'll start when you get all the clues. So. Oh. Okay. First of all, I better check Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fu Fujisaki. The time of the death was estimated to be around 2 o'clock a.m. The body was discovered in the girl's locker room in the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I'm, I gotta do what I gotta do. Well, Monokuma number two has been added to the truce bullet section. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? No. We, we're timed, bro. Sure. Huh? Do you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life found purpose is quite dull, you know? Um, so what do you need? <laughs> I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve side this case. S solve no, no, I just- Stop talking. You seem to have some quite limited use, which is why I've chosen you. The chosen one? You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So you're inviting me to so let me get this straight. You're inviting me to come get with come to, with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But but we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. <laughs> I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Biaku on this one. No, I guess I won't be working on with Toko, huh? Or T or Kyoko, sorry. Well, both of them probably. But anyway, um, so what do I? Should I do this? I already did it, right? So no, I already added it to the section. All right, let's see what this is all about. The poster's got some blood on it. it must have happened uh, during the murder. Interesting. Interesting. What's this? There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have been splattered with blood during the murder. Wait, I thought I was supposed to. What? Oh, do I have to... Oh. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and this blood stain. there's a blood stain on the dumbbell. The Monokuma said a blow to the head with a blunt object. What killed her. Does that mean the dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? I don't imagine it could be anything else. Whoa. Locker room dumbbells been added to... Okay, so it's getting... I guess maybe they're kind of limiting, limiting, like, the... Like, well, you can everything. just press tab to see what you need to look at. Well, yeah, that's, that is true. So I can still talk to him. What, what's the, what about him? Yeah. Dude, we got, a, we got a real complex about being weak. Or you heard about your hero talk about it, right? All I need to get all I, all I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger? Or, but did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't all that strong. Yeah. I don't know, man. Haven't really thought about that stuff. The Kazajiro's complex, I can't help wondering what it might be. Mondo, Mondo's account has been added to true section bullet section in your handbook. A person? Has been added to the section of my handbook? Alright, let's talk to you. Uh, I used the locker room all the time. Now it's because of the sight of Jihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else, then carried here. She was very light, that is true. It, it wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I still think she came uh, here on her own by choice. Uh, what makes you say that? <laughs> She'd been talking a, uh, talking a lot lately about she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise. But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. She uh, Would she really have been exercising that late? You know, or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? <laughs> although, she, uh, although she invited her to join more than once, she never showed up. So, so I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the, of the night? However... Perhaps it's difficult for me to imagine she uh, would have come alone. She did want to exercise... She did... Uh, she did start to start... Want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned that she uh, couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from the others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but she said that would have come... Uh, she also would have come with someone else. Hmm. It's a possibility, I think. Sakura's account has been added to his Okay. 
Now I believe it's time for us to move on. Already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. He's not wrong. Th that's true, but let's go. if you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. He's so pushy. I got caught. I, I got caught up with, with the wrong person this time. Okay, then. Time to do other stuff. <laughs> Alright. So, this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigation? Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Oh, I guess so. Let's see what this is all about here. Maybe this gun was used too. No, impossible. If that were true, Chihiro would have riddled it with holes. That's true. Oh! There's a bunch of other, uh, of different pool-related items on the shelf, which have nothing to do with the case. Great. Alright, well. I remember this, uh, I remember right, the card reader meant, uh, meant to work with our handbooks, right? Uh, okay. Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. Uh, he said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? You called for me? Jesus Christ. He, had, he has been, has he been domesticated? That's, That's right. funny. He seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Um, well, it's just about the this card reader. Yep. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to interface with each of your e-handbooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed on your individual handbook. And that's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbeatable. If, if there were any sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling mounted Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. Swiss cheese. Hmm. And the school regulation prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course! Correctly correct! <laughs> so then, that means only girls can go in the lo girl, uh, girl locker room and only boys can go to the boys locker room. In other words, Chihiro's body has been found in the girls locker room, which means... <laughs> hey Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since your hero was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So, in other words... As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such Good ignorance. lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your... Oh. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Ah! Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is completely fine. Yeah. <laughs> I would expect nothing else from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah. Yeah. You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Rude. Get it? Got it? Good. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means uh, someone would have would have to loan it, so, uh... Why so you? sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Byakuya and get your poop together. Whoa! Um, or else I'll charge you of criminal neglectience. I haven't pooped before. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> no more questions. Figure out the rest of your own darn self. Okay. That's Bye. Fine. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental facility faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? That'll help you understand what's going on. The card reader has been added to the truth. All right, cool. Epic. Wow, I don't even have to go anywhere. I'm just like, whatever. I guess that's good. We came to the main hall. So what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure out for myself? Great. All right, so there's only four things. So there's this. The hunk of metal blocking the entrance seems like some kind of machine. Oh. A surveillance camera there, uh, and there's only what I can assume a gun attached to it. So it's, uh, it's so chilling. Ha. Huh. A surveillance, okay. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's Maybe it. look to the side. Oh, well, yeah. I, you're right. Uh, oh, double double. Uh, nothing. 
And ooh, okay, here's this. There's a mailbox here. Could be could it be something inside? It's an e handbook. No wait, there's three of them. It's Owie inside of the mailbox. <laughs> but what are they doing here? So you finally found them. Huh? Did you know these were here, Byakua? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there is a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka. Whoa. Hm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I'm immediately turning it on one of the handbooks, and when I did... Ah, 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 ah. They're still talking about Sayaka, aren't they? You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook. Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I received, that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your- oh. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Mmm. I see, yeah, now I understand. Main Hall e-handbooks have been added to- okay, what? cool. Hmm? Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Wait a second. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It would make sense, yes. <laughs> sure. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs? Oh, yeah. Oh shoot, the memory of it came flooding back. A cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. I hated that part. Man. Execution that the mastermind co uh, concocted. None of that was his fault. None of this was his fault. A cruel, heartless death. Ugh. You're right, it would be surprising for the handbook to break during the kind of assault. Oh god. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey! Go away. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> that E handbook is essential to the student life here. Cool, interregnal, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. <laughs> if I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. Okay. It can withstand up to 10 tons, 10 tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? Okay! I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap. Oh, oh. oh but uh, even my amazing handbook does have a single weak point. It does? I can't hear you! But it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks. What? And Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing it was his weakness was, correct? Hmm. Mm, hard to say. You know what I think? I think this handbook isn't actually broken. What, what? But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? Well, that's me though. Monokuma said it's not broken, but an un undeniable fact that it's not turning that's on. Fine. Sorry. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it must matter. If it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Do you think so? Either way, something about it is still bothers me. Broken E handbook. Okay, broken E handbook. Great, great. <laughs> okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to fix who killed. Uh, fix out. Find out who killed Chihiro. <laughs> I have dyslexia. To be exact, <laughs> not quite. Huh? Not quite. I have dyslexia. <laughs> okay, no, I don't. Okay. Uh. Talk to me. Oh no. Okay, yeah. What do you mean by that, Byaku? What's be exact? Not quite. Certainly, Certainly I, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, <laughs> I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think... You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat Absolutely. Myself. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. <laughs> that murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? That's what I just said, you idiot. There's nobody else it could be. <laughs> A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. Does Genocide Jack... My... I'd say my theory is that he's Monokuma. Probably. And that nickname did... What... Ah! Uh, <laughs> what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack? 
Uh, they say he's he killed thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could could one of us really be demented psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. The 16th student, perhaps? But words mean little right now. <laughs> I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. I think I know. Let's see. What do you mean by that, Biakua? To be exact, not quite. Sure, that one of you will do the skill of more precisely. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm gonna just go with the red and then you're gonna try to die. Wait, Don't wait, sorry. So oh, 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 oh. You, oh. you freaking frick! I didn't, freaking I didn't see those. You freaking fricks! I. My bad. Don't make me repeat myself. Alright. Is there is there really proof? <laughs> There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear. Now. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence? Does, does something like that really... Ah! Ah! Hey, you two! Oh. Big trouble! Need your help! Okay! <laughs> I don't have time to play. Okay, owie! We're busy. Leave us alone. Oh god. But it's an emergency! 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 <laughs> Come on, please! You gotta help me! You gotta help your old owie grandma over here! Sorry. You gotta help old... Talk to owie. Grandma owie! Owie! Please. This is a serious emergency. Please, please, you gotta help me. Okay! And my towel techniques. Towel techniques? You just calm down, okay, Hina? Heine? But, but, it's an emergency! Emergency! Uh, an emergency, what happened? No. Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. I killed... I killed Chihiro, yeah! <laughs> Kill me now! I'm just joking, that's terrible. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? But what, but she... What should we do? What should we do, Byakuya? Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we could take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat Don't make myself. me repeat myself. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh god! Dude, are you good? <laughs> Alright, uh... It's fine. Just right. wait for us, Hina. Let's go. It looks like she headed to the dorms, to Toko's room, most likely. Oh my god! Freaking Heine! Owie! Oh, uh, you're right. <laughs> God dang it. The reason I haven't been joking as much as I probably should is because I want- I kinda wanna get this done as much as I can. Alright, go talk to Biakia. No! I wanna go- Actually, go check Toko's room. I wanna go Junko. Alright. Oh, uh -huh. right. oh Celeste! No, no, Toko's room is behind you. Oh! Now we standing right next to you. Oh! It's Toko inside? Some kind of emergency? Talk to Aoi. Freaking owie! Owie, she's still talking with water in her mouth. Oh god. <laughs> Come on, you guys are too slow! <laughs> I think you're just too fast. <laughs> so, what's this emergency? So, um... Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko's room so we can lay down. After a while, we came back up to check on her, you know? To see how she was doing. But when we did, mm. it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good idea. Okay. I may as well give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ding dong, bing bong, bing bong, bring, bring, bring. The door swung open slowly and silently. Ooh, bring, bring to me. <laughs> oh god, ew. Ho holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out of from behind the door, facing, forcing a grabs out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that, uh, Hina was really worried about you, holding yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But, could you open up, just for a second? No. Won't allow it. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control! And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What a jerk. What, what was that? She's been acting like that this whole time, when I rained a little while ago. Huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh j drive out the killer. J drive out the murderous fiend. It doesn't make any sense, right? 
I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even bulge it. Toga was scared enough to even bar bar her door. Does she think the same thing as Byakula? Does she think the serial killer Genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? But... Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Uh, Byakula. Oh yeah, duh. Uh, where'd he go? Oh god! Hello. <laughs> Hey Byakua, do you think you could uh you think you could ask her to come out of her room, I mean? That's fine. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Blah! You're gonna talk about Byakua? Oh my gosh, it would be nice when you want to. Jesus Christ. But Byakua stood in front of her uh front of her door, not making a sound and pressed the doorbell. Ding dong bring bring bring! Alright, after a few moments. Oh god. It's her again. <laughs> For like want? the third time. Leave me- oh, you, yeah, you can read. Yeah. Leave me alone. You're also so, so annoying. Ah. Oh, wait. Ah, Byakula. Bakula? Bakula? What? Bakula. Oh. Now it's yeah. just- Oh, wait, keep going. I guess they're not doing voice lines. I'm sorry I couldn't keep our promise. But, but don't worry. Never again. Yeah. I, I won't let this Genocide Jack have control ever again. Bye-bye. <laughs> and with that, the door slammed shut again. For the third time. Hmm. Even Byakua couldn't pull it off. Hmm. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Oh, hold on. Hey, Byakua, what what was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise? Hmm? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But, but... Stop talking. If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well, then, let's go. Without waiting for a reply, Byakua sped away. But Byakua! I hurried to catch up. I tried to talk to him uh, several times as we walked, but he didn't even look back, l let alone say anything. He just kept on walking toward his direction. Finally, his feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. The library! Come on, let's go in. Oh! Oh, there's a lot. Well, there's not. Well, I can try the archive. Or... Wait, maybe we could just look at the letter one more time. There's no point oh, in okay. checking there. Frickin' hacker. Try the archive drawer. Is the archives drawer? The door. Oh, the door. Oh, you're right. Duh. If I remember on the other side of this door, it's an archive, right? Hurry up, let's go inside. Oh, there. Let's oh, go. here. It'll all make sense once you're inside. Okay. <laughs> He's a little bit <laughs> on edge, dude. Whoa, there's so many books and files! And so much dust, too! In other words... I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. That's true. This shelf is stuffed tight tight with files. Without really thinking about it, I picked one at random. Ah, uh, you have a sharp eye and need to select that file. Huh? What do you mean, sharp eye and bead? That's the report of the presentable assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. Won't be declassified de for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. <clears throat> Without making a sound, I return the file to the shelf. Okay. Probably this. There's a wooden box, it's empty. Although, judging by the smudges on the dust, it looks like there was something inside. Wonder what it was. Hmm. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? Huh? It's a desk lamp. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's the same one I saw Byakua using in the library before. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? <laughs> it was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Nice day we're having, right? This is some, uh... Background ASMR while uh, Nolan's uh, doing stuff because his mom came in to get him, so he had to stop recording for like five minutes. I'm gonna say the N word. Nesquik! And I'll go over here for a couple days. Yeah, so they will. Alright, we can just cut it out for like. Uh...
We can, yeah, we can like go like oh, five minutes over. How, how long was that? It was about five minutes, yeah. yeah okay, five minutes over time. That's a lot. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go until we finish this entire investigation. How about that? I don't care how long it is. All right. All right. Just read it again. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Ooh, a Monokuma coin. Sweet. Ooh, I like it. All right, so another books. Oh, him then. Never mind. If you pay attention to your surroundings, you're sure to discover that value for yourself. Thanks, man. You're the bestest friend. There's so many files stuffed into the shelf. What's up with what's in all of these things? That's enough. Those documents are dangerous. Ooh, dangerous? What do you mean by that, Byakua? <laughs> they detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commander. Commoner. You mean like members of the diet the of the diet or something? Diet Coke? <laughs> no. I mean the ones with real power, the secret council controlling everything from the shadows. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. Y you are just kidding, right? <laughs> Am I? I'll just let it go for now. Okay. Check the bookshelf again. This again? The one behind it. The oh, bookshelf behind it. That wow, that's hard. Okay. There's a ton of thick thick files stuffed into the bookshelf. <laughs> Uh, if you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filed with graphic, disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing that any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to look at. Oh? <laughs> so? Are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? No. <laughs> I'm just joking. The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. <laughs> it holds classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? Such ignorance. That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it as a lie. Well, it's not that, it's just, it's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but, I mean, there's so much, how could you, how could anyone have to put it this all to get, all this together? Hmm. I suppose it goes to show how much power really comes to Hope's Peak truly, ah, uh, I suppose it goes to show just how much power Hope's Peak truly wields, or perhaps, <laughs> the mastermind may have wanted us to provide, the mastermind may want to provide us with such Enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. I can't talk today, my uh, um, please. There's something wrong with my throat. It's okay. It's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. Hmm. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What, what do you mean, usually? Usual. Usual, normal, ordinary, simple. Those things don't exist anymore in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? <laughs> the documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there is no doubt. Hold on a second. You're saying you've read all these documents in more than once. But all of this has to be, like, top secret, confidential stuff, right? So why? My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Huh? Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How, the, how, is that how is that possible? In other words, I already told you, there is a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council, and I and I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. Creepy! <laughs> but to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world, backwards and forwards. So whenever I have the time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I can proclaim, without a doubt, that the materials gathered here are at the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Byakuya was actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. 
and what always interested me the most interest but what always interests me were the cold case police didn't get investigation reports reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since i was little it's an, it's an excellent mental ex exercise i've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports and among all those reports one of my recent favorites is the genocide jack case as he talked, Byakua grabbed a specific file from the shelf. Holy crap. This guy, man. Holy god. I don't like him very much, man. That's right. This is the complete case file. I like him. Every actually. single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases have been complied in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that every crime scene, the word bloodless is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written in blood and the victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. <laughs> Save your surprise, the best part is yet to come. Hmm. For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended. The only ones who knew about the particular fact were members of the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about the aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Hmm. Now, if you recall Chishiro's court, her body was most certainly spout mounted in this fashion. So, how could the killer have known about suspecting the victim? That's right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. So, in other words, the culprit isn't a copycat killer, it's the real Genocide Jack. Oh. My. God. Gah. In other words, that right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. Oh my god! Uh oh! Oh my god! Th then Genocide Jack really is. He's one of us! <laughs> Just a brutal, fiendish killer really uh, walking around among us. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Things are really starting to get there's interesting, aren't they? There's a serial killer among them? I never imagined a killer of such reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Such ignorance. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Holy crap! We'll talk to him. Oh, oh yeah, right, because, yeah, I forgot. That's fine. Well, you... Whoa! Oh, what? Oh, I thought I had to do the purple thing. I'm sorry. Byakuya handed me the file and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. My bad. Suddenly my hand stopped. I had reached the page where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. The names of Genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. Oh my god. Ken Harada, 32. Tetsuro Honda 17, Joshi, jo, Shoji Jaku 23, Keno AC 14, Takeki Kiyoshida 30, Kamada Taro, there was no end to it. But one thing came perfectly clear as, as read all the killer's countless victims were killed and suspect, suspended in exactly the same way. And, the, and at the scene of every murder, the word bloodlust was left to the victim's own blood. Oh my god. You know, that guy looks happy about it. <laughs> that, that guy right in the corner, the left, okay, anyway. All right, it's, yeah. That's <laughs> terrible though. Now take a look at the next page and you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page. <laughs> that face though. <laughs> Pro profiling results. All the crimes just uh, took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but then they, uh, when when they did leave, there was they there they were in a panic. 
because an eyewitness was never <clears throat> come forward, it's unlikely there was an external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from dis dissociative uh, ide identity disorder. Or schizophrenia. So in other words... Oh, right. The key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. Hey, I said that a couple times. Not about him, the person, him, him, Genocide Jack, but more about, like, uh, just... Owie or something? No, I think you said Toko. Oh, yeah, Toko. Something like that. A split personality, like the kind of things you see on TV. I'm a part, so I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. But this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up until now. So we know that obviously it's a guy. So the killer is a guy. So that eliminates all the girls. So that helps a lot. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Just say Jack Case has been added to the. That is a great one to add. Let's go. <laughs> all right, we should get going soon. So we know it's a guy, huh? Where are we going? <laughs> Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, have you? Uh, wait, Biakua. As usual, Biakua turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. <laughs> well, this is where the part where this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? I don't have time to Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I'd uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. And that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find out who no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's some somewhere I have to go investigate one more time. I have to go back to the, cr cr to the crime scene, the girls' locker room. I could check the boys' locker room too. And the others and the others might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. All right, so we're gonna go to the girls' locker room, which is at Zipul. All right. <laughs> oh my God! What are you doing here, Ifubi? Oh. I feel as if another stat increased for me. Evidence? What did you find? But I guarantee that what I found is was still the killer's breach with him from his young. Are you sure about that? Oh yeah, Miss Ludenberg said that she witnessed something worthwhile too. Really? What did she see? She refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies a girl, a boy, she's like, right? Right? Uh, wait, she likes, right? Okay, my bad. Oh, okay, okay, so where is Celeste now? The way I had she's by the doors, she was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Okay, go in the girl's locker room. <laughs> Alright, whatever you're talking about, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's talk to Kyoko maybe? Yeah, and then check everything. Hi. Hey Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Generally speaking. However. But I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What? What is it? Well. Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But, but. So then. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. Um, and with that, Tio yeah, Kyoko turned and left the girls' locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing. That's definitely worth worrying about. Chihiro's e, uh, e handbook. Okay. Okay. Let's thoroughly look at the body. Kyoka said I should examine the body one more time. I know I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Jira's hands were bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up a kind of uh, crucifix position. Huh? This rope has a plug? Wait, wait, so then this isn't a rope at all. But more I think about it, the more that's... <gasps> the box, right? Good thinking, Nolan. The wooden box. She has fatal injury just blow to the head, which me which means someone stuck her in the head, uh, in the head in order to kill her. That's right. There's an issue of her being suspended at the fatal blow. 
I, at first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack files, something's not quite right. What does this all mean? Status, okay, status of the dead body. Alright, well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Chihiro. Uh, and to figure that out, there's a certain place you need to re re revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at Genocide Jack's case file one more time. Check, okay. check the poster first. This one? It's the bloodstained poster, the blood of the most noteworthy part, but... The big blah blah swimsuit model is pretty noticeable, too. A girl locker room doesn't seem to the kind of place you'd find some, something like this. Alright, now go to the boys' locker room. What the actual frick frack snick snack, man? Alright, let's, uh... Uh... Yeah. R for leave? Because that's what it's spelled. That's how you start. Oh, shoot. Hey. Fumi's just way. blocking the way with his fat body. God. Alright. So, wait a second. Yeah, look at the poster. What? Wait a second. Wait a second. Huh? This poster? It's a popular boy band called Tornado. And just somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit the boys' locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me, the poster in the uh, on the locker room is, that's right, there's definitely something strange about this. It's a boys' locker room, there's a poster popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a swimsuit model. Could the poster have been switched? But if they were, why? That reason, what reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker rooms. Phew, okay, wow. Now check the rug. There's something weird on the rug. Look. Ooh, oh, there's poop. <laughs> there's a strange stain in the carpet. What is it? Ew. Okay, now, now go back to the girls' locker room and talk to Sakura. Ah. That's the pool. Freaking owie. Owie! I know. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't freaking want to go to owie. Don't go to owie. Go to Sakura. <laughs> Alright. Sakura. La 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 la. La 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 <laughs> uh, Boop! You spend a lot of time exercising in the girls' locker rooms, right, Sakura? I use it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hina and I used it together. Okay then, let me ask you something. Do you think the poster in the boys' and girls' locker rooms should have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I must have paid any attention to the posters. I However. see. But there's something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, uh, you see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. Oh, I thought you said you like to drink alcohol. Sure. Yeah, we have protein coffee in the warehouse. In the warehouse, it is not the highest quality, but I do not have a lot of other options. I mix the protein powder with coffee down a glass of, uh, uh, of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet the girls' locker room and it felt I left a stain. Oh, so it wasn't a poop stain. A stain? Uh, but I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Reading Sakura's voice in Shrek's voice. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly no wait, hold on. Exactly noticed it earlier! The stain had disappeared! I can only assume someone had been along and cleaned it up! I don't know how to do it. Donkey! Alright, but still, but still it is unusually clean, as if it was never a stain here to begin with. Oh, a disappearing stain has been added to two section of your handbook. Wait a second. He switched the carpet. He switched the posters, the person who killed, switched the carpet, switched the poster, I'm saying, okay, wow. Alright, so now who do I talk to? Uh, I think that's... Talk to Sakura just one more time, I think there's something yeah, that I can see. Yeah, maybe there's... I'm sorry. I do not remember any of the posters, I never remember. Oh, okay, never yeah. mind. <laughs> Alright, go to the... You have a couple options. You can go to the warehouse to talk to Celeste, or you can go to the library to check the desk with the lamp on it. Um, which is closer? <laughs> Uh, the library is closer. Oh yeah, because it's on the second floor. Right. Huh? The lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see it's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't lo uh, uh, long enough to reach the outlet from here. The last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. Byaku was using an extension cord. Ooh, but there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Hmm, library desk lamp. Okay. Man, where'd the cord go? Now go talk to Celeste. No, you don't need to go in there anymore. You got everything. Oh, you sure? There. Yeah. Okay. My bad. I thought I had to go check the other lamp or something. I don't know. I already did, so. Alright. Oh, this one? Yeah. The... Oh, okay. I, I want to take another look at Genocide Jack's Kate. Alright, hmm, I know what's around here somewhere. 
Oh, it's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one who could have done that, something like that, I can't think of anyone but Byakuo. Well, oh, friend. Now go out and talk to Celeste. Jesus Christ, man. I don't want to talk to that weird chick. <laughs> Chickadees. Fine. Oh, oh, see that oh, brick room? Brick oh, room, brick oh, room. Oh, that was taped oh. off in chapter one, remember? Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, bro, bro. Celeste, what are you doing here? This warehouse is amazing and there's absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see, but uh, have you found anything else related Most to the case? I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought ta talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. What? Then what do you? Did you find something? Very well, I will tell you and only you. Last night I saw her. Saw her here. Chihiro is in the warehouse. Wait, really? Well, this was right before nighttime. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what are you, you doing? doing? This oh. Late? oh, um, I was just. Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Awkward. <laughs> uh, she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was yes, gone. Indeed. I assumed she was merely, uh, merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but... It, it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and he headed directly to the uh, lock girl's locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this would ever happen. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. Whoa. Big meanie. So apparently, she went to the big meanie, big fat meanie. <laughs> uh, she went to the girl's locker room late at night in order to um, exercise uh, uh, without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there was no trace of the track jacket of duffel bags Celeste saw in the chair was carrying. Uh, which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Okay, Celeste's account. Sweet. Huh? Is oh, oh, yeah, talk to Owie in the kitchen. That's, that's the last thing. Oh, so we're almost done with the investigation. Yeah. Alright, investigations don't even take too long, luckily, so. Last thing, guys, alright? Alright. Thank you, 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 Oh, Heine, how's Toko doing? Same as before, she won't come out. And she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. Jerk. You left Chocolate there? <laughs> you left her? My head was all My head was uh, all swimmy, and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry. I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Huh? A donut, of course. Of course. Donuts. <laughs> I like donuts. There's two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. I really love <laughs> really? donuts. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet Shihiro would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Oh, I should have spent more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? <laughs> yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura, uh, Sakura said something s similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yep, that's, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. What, was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't that kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally be fine with the opposite sex? It's sexist. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe, maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? Do you think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Owie's account has been added. Wow. Oh, it's time for the end. Well, not in this episode. I apologize. But we'll see. Anyway. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for! The class trial! You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. No. <laughs> See you soon! Begin the class trial, or it's about to begin. The red door is right through here. Bye-bye! 
I can't leave. I can't leave. <laughs> There's no running away. Oh no, you're the... being dragged over there. No, you're pulling me in. You're pulling me and no. Oh, I just have to click on it. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Ahem, so is everyone ready to what? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. And Toko is. You really don't remember? Oh, kidding, I'm just kidding. How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of the class trial this time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie, I'll go on ahead and drag her out here, kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. And just like that, he said a few minutes later. He re reappeared dragging Toko behind him. That's terrible. I told him I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you dragged a girl around. Yeah. Terrible. You're terrible. Woo, so now everyone's here, right? Okay, then hustle onto the elevator and let's get the show on the road. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. So, shall we get going? It's time to find out who killed Chihiro. Who done it? Chihiro? Chihiro Fujisaki? Who's that? I'm just joking. And this whole time I thought I was investigating Sayaka again! <laughs> just joking. She was so gentle, so calm and meek, nobody had problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. I know, man. She was like one of my favorites. Well, and that murder is one of us. Someone's standing right here. All right, guys, we will do this in the next episode. So, uh, exciting. Anyway, so, uh, this is, oh god, we're getting into it. Uh, hope you liked the video, comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next adventure of Nolan's Ark. Bye! <laughs>